What's up guys, welcome back to Shogo, back to another video. And in today's video, obviously you're gonna be enjoying some more BMW stuff, but at the same time, I've been looking for a daily. I've been definitely looking for a daily to just get around the city in the mornings and uh, you know, just to kind of maybe an electric car, maybe an i3, something crazy like that. I've honestly been looking on the market for something like that. Maybe making a super, you know, rad looking i3 and uh, just drive around, run errands, get some parts, get some supplies. Um, Cause that's what I pretty much do every single morning. And I take my normal cars out of a mile on them, I put a lot of gas on them, and uh, you know, long story short, I even have to jump off mail like every single morning. So I was like, you know what, everything's around me within one mile, and I've been just kind of looking for something that's like the best fit for me, like an electric car. I don't care about the range, that's why the i3 range sucks, but it's full electric and it works for me in the city, and it just is perfect for me. But what ended up working out, honestly, that I actually got a little bit into electric bikes. This is an electric bike, super random, but I'm on a little bring into this channel, don't worry. We're doing that what the title suggests that we're gonna be doing in this video But at the same time I kind of want to just show you guys this bike I ended up picking up It's an electric kind of like at the same like you pedal but you get boost like it's up to like 20 miles an hour Which is pretty sick and at the same time it actually comes with these baskets a front basket I believe in a rear basket quick release basket so I can actually put my mail stuff like that run do some errands with it Lock it up. It's so perfect. I get to lose a little bit of weight every single morning I think it's honestly the perfect thing instead of spending all the money on a car end up getting this bike and uh, actually I reached out to this company as well and for you guys as well if you guys end up copping this bike you want to run some errands in the morning you guys have things to do but you don't want to always just spend gas for miles on your car every morning then this honestly works for you as well and you guys will get these two packages right here completely for free which is the front basket and the rear basket I think something like that so those baskets will come to you guys completely for free but without further ado let's go ahead unbox this bike because I am super excited for it <laughs> this thing's insane. I'm gonna, oh, hold on. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing this one-handed on my first time. This thing is so fast. And this is the next morning, guys. This is the craziest bike I've ever ridden in my life. I've never driven a motorcycle, so this is the closest thing to it. This thing goes up to, I believe, 30 miles an hour on top speed. I actually set it to 25 because I don't think it's healthy to put it at 30. This is my personal assumptions, but you guys can pretty much go into here. It's like a secret menu. You hold the plus and minus button, and you can go in here and just adjust the top speeds and everything. Like This thing has a super easy to use menu as well, which I really like. And you can also adjust it to where your pedal speed is. So right now I'm on pedal speed one, so when I actually pedal, I go up to like five miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. I can adjust it to where it says two, three and each one of those numbers I can adjust it in the settings to how fast I can go so right now three would take me like 15 miles an hour if I go all the way up to like five that's 25 miles an hour pedaling which is absolutely insane and you guys saw about here it took me about a mile to get here and I'm still at 100% charge which is so sick also just a cool little thing I just want to put it out there since I reached out to the company um, they actually offered this basket for me and also for you guys so if you guys want to end up getting this bike you guys will get a free quick release basket which is super cool so if I just go put my hand underneath here Oh, there you go. It just pops super quick. It's got a little, pretty much like a little quick release there and I can just go put it right back on it like that and then push down on it and bam, it is on there. So yeah, that's gonna be super helpful when I try to take things to the post office. Just strap it down there, I'm good to go. Head down, lose a little bit of weight. Not too much, this isn't your normal bike, so obviously you're getting a lot of assist. But guys, this thing is just so crazy. You guys can see, I have my turn signal on right now. You guys have turn signals. What bike do you guys know 
has turn signals, like a normal bike. This isn't no motorcycle. So like this is a normal bike. Obviously you don't need any license for it. We even have a hazard button down there. So <laughs> that's kind of crazy. And what's also super crazy, this is like a smart bike. So when I was actually assembling this bike, I actually had this like loosened or something and it actually gave me like a check engine light for brakes. And it was like saying, hey, check your brake line. And I was like, oh, look at that. Tighten that side, match up with this side and bada bing, bada bing, good to go. So uh, just kind of crazy how this thing is just super smart. And it's pretty much mostly assembled as you guys saw from the box. All the rear end was assembled. I just had to assemble the front end. This thing does have a little uh, little bell here, which is kind of cute. It's got a bunch of different gear settings as well. So how hard you actually, I think I actually have a little tape on here. Ooh, so much nicer. <laughs> but any of you guys, this is obviously not a bike channel. I'm just having so much fun with this. I'm happy I got it. I just wanted to introduce it to you guys as well. Today's gonna be kind of a vlog style video because today I'm also gonna be checking out something I've been trying to get for a very long time. You guys know that I had a shop about a year and a half ago, about a year ago. I ended up getting a shop with a few other boys. Um, thing is, long story short, I never signed a lease with people that you don't really know where you guys are all going in directions. I'm not saying they're bad people. Um, they actually, we're, we're all still friends actually, still technically. <laughs> but long story short, we all had different goals for the shop. So uh, what came down is, uh, you know, two of the guys, they had shops to, to, from turning the place into like a business thing. And me and Jonathan had goals for the place to turn into like a YouTube oriented theme. So it just didn't work out for us. And you know, it, it's all right, you know, but just don't sign a lease. Like I've learned, don't sign leases with people, especially that are like, you know, just came into your lives and you just recently met them. Only sign a lease with someone that's either like a brother. And even then, even then, I honestly don't recommend it. I'm honestly looking into this next shop completely alone, just for that peace of mind that if anything goes bad, I'm in control. So that is what's super comfortable. So yeah, that is something I've been working on so long. And ever since we got rid of the I8, basically taking the I8 payment and getting into the shop, I think that's financially a better decision for myself. And I think it's gonna be super nice. That we're gonna have a brand new shop. I was still in the lookouts. We're gonna be looking at two shops today. One is about 900 square footage. Um, um, this one's going for about I think like a thousand a month. I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. I know a lot of you guys are also looking for shops. And the other one's like they like 1,300 square footage, and that one's like 15 to 1,600 a month. That's like a whole mortgage right there. But we're gonna be looking at both of them anyways to just try to get a rough estimate and uh, just try to see what I can do, what actually works best for the channel. Because if the smaller one works, then it works. You know, that's ideal. It's cheaper. It's more affordable. And just to put it out there, guys, I've been on the wait list for so long, just trying to get these two to look at these two shops. You'll be on wait list for over a year, two years, when somebody else's lease is expired. Then the instant they call everyone that's on the wait list. So like if you're just looking for something today, it is really unlikely that you're gonna find a shop. You, you pretty much have to get on a wait list for like a year in advance. Thankfully they found something that's kind of it like 25 minutes away from me, which is better than where it was originally, which was like 45 minutes away from me. But anyway, we're gonna be checking out those shops in a little bit. I'm also gonna be heading out to Home Depot. It is Black Friday season. I am so excited. Your man is just kind of a little balling out, just treating himself. Black Friday is the only time of the year that I ever buy tools for myself. So uh yeah, pretty much take 11 months off to not spending any money on tools, just cars and just YouTube stuff. And then when it comes down to tools I go always shop on Black Friday because Black Friday deals are like 50% off on tools and I just love it. Also guys I just checked my email so if you guys want to get the Quickly Lease basket and the Quickly Lease hub those links are going to be down below add that to your cart with the bike then use my code NOR and then these will come out for free make sure to add it to the cart this discount's only valid for two weeks so get it for Christmas get it for someone as a gift this thing is absolutely insane if someone also just wants to lose weight but also like me and uh, needs to get things done um, this is the best way to go about it like I'm serious it's honestly amazing like I work with a lot of companies before but guys this thing genuinely is amazing all right all right no relax let's go get some new tools let's go check out the shop hopefully it's a shop that we love And guys, we are officially back home. We got all the stuff from home, uh, I mean from, uh, yeah, I guess from Home Depot, yes. Uh, now we're heading over to see the shop. So hopefully everything is great in the day. We're gonna be looking at two different shops. I'll take you guys on the journey. Let me know which one you guys end up liking more because I'm probably gonna decide in a week. I'm not gonna like just jump into one because this is a huge time commitment, at least a one year commitment. So uh, let's go ahead and look into it. I'll show you guys some time lapses. I think it's gonna be super sick.
uh, so basically, yeah, we looked at two different shops. One of them, I mean, so the thing is that was unfortunate um, that I noticed at least is that one is significantly larger than the other, but it, the part that's large is not the part that matters, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. So basically, when he said it was an extra 500 square footage, I literally thought I could park an extra two to three cars on top of the two cars that I knew that was gonna fit originally. So the smaller shop had about a 400 square footage garage that could fit about two cars, and then obviously about a 400 square footage office and like a 50 square footage bathroom. That's pretty much how the first office was. I'm sorry if my recording was very bad. Again, I had the real estate agent or you know the guy doing his thing. I didn't want to like, make him feel uncomfortable in any way. But yeah, that was the first garage. Now the second garage, I mean, basically it, it, it's, it's bigger. It's laid out nicer for sure. But it's only like, instead of 400, like 500 square footage. So it's a little bit bigger, but I like the way it's laid out. It gives you, it feels like it's bigger. But unfortunately, the, the majority of the space that I'm paying for, that extra five or $600 a month, because this the bigger one is 1500, I'm basically paying for the office space that I don't really need. I don't need office, I have more than enough office space at my house, I just need a garage. So unfortunately, even though the garage layout is better, I don't think it can justify the five or $600 extra per month. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the smaller one. I'm gonna go and see if they have any other shops available. People aren't being on the wait list forever now. This guy in the smaller one is actually leaving his current office. So that's why I'm applying to that one right now. So again, guys, wish me luck. Hopefully everything goes through because as soon as we get this shop, guys, I have so many crazy plans I've been trying to do. I know you guys want better content and I'm trying. I just can't do much out of this tiny one car garage. You can't do anything from there. And then my parents have been honestly very busy. My dad got his Tesla, as you guys know, so he doesn't want me moving any of the cars out. So uh, yeah, your man needs a shop. Your man needs to push up better content in a shop so i'm working on it guys i'm definitely working on it so let me know down below do you guys think like, it's justifiable paying that extra five or six hundred dollars to have a larger office space and if i get a larger office space what should i do in it like maybe i can do better vlog content in it i don't know should we go for that or should we just go with the small one for i think around a thousand dollars a month and it just works it's not the most dream and perfect garage but you know we all start somewhere on our own this is completely on my own the last shop i partnered up with three other guys this one is completely on my own so it's a really big step but let me know guys which of the two do you guys think is better you guys already saw my trip down to home depot i already picked up some new tools for the shop picked up a whole new set of a 270 piece set of like sockets a bunch of stuff i'm just super excited for the shop already like i haven't even signed the contract i don't know if i'm gonna get approved to be honest with you i mean fingers crossed i hope i get approved but i already started ordering some tools an extra charger some battery from home depot because i'm just so excited plus it's the home uh, the home depot black friday deal they do some crazy black friday deals so you already know i had to get on top of that but any hoozles without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth